Look at upgrade my computer so that my fiance can have the parts out of the old ones so that she can play Sims. Doesn't care all about any good games. Should be more than enough for Sims starting valley to stream in the background. Yeah? Kyle, that's more than enough. What if you just use the ionized water and just sink the whole PC in it? Uh, PC needs to be clean. Well, yeah. That same thing, Still Sharkin. But the only bad thing about that is Still Sharkin. So the thing, the mineral oil versus water is that mineral oil um, transfers heat a lot faster than water would. So that's why you want to choose that over using soaking the whole thing in water. The heat, the heat transfer is much better. No, Kyle, that's perfectly fine, dude. Only, only bad thing going on for you right now is that it sucks to build a PC right now. <laughs> Mr. Peril. Do I have enough copper for this plan? Nope. But we can go find copper. We can we can set the farm up, Kyle, and then go find copper. We don't have to have the walls finished for the copper farm for the uh, farm to work. We can only do beautification afterwards. We're finding copper while we're doing this, but we probably need to go find copper veins. Which they exist, we just gotta go find them. As long as the oil didn't transfer electric charge between components. Well yeah, still sharking for sure. You can you can Google or look on YouTube for mineral oil builds. They're all over the place, dude. Bye Kyle, have fun, enjoy your dinner. Yeah, who cares wins? You're talking about a drowned farm, right? We could probably build a nice drowned farm. And get copper ingots from that. That'd be a nice sidetrack. Yeah. Yeah, you pretty much build a dark room above the above the biome. Yep. So many so many zombies, so many drowned. It's really cool, man. Yeah, we could we could do that. That'd be fun. We can use it to get tridents too. Dig this. Give me my shovel. Hiya. All the way down. Oh, we gotta put it in a box. It's my deep slate in a box. Step one, you pick up stuff off the ground. Step two, you put the box on the ground. Step three, you put your stuff in that box. It's your stuff in a box. And that's the way you do it. <laughs> There you go, Wikipedia. New earworm. <laughs> Sleep. I love the torches from the old walkway. I'm gonna put a, a, a path across there. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna honor the old pathing system and, and still keep them up. 
They got to exist. They can't not exist. How's the gold farm doing? Gold farm's great. We have to, after we build this, who cares wins? We have to go build the piglin bartering. I'm out of rockets. So we really need gunpowder first before anything else. So after we finish this, we'll go do the piglin bartering. And then we will, well, actually, I think immediately after this, I want to do some more achievements. Since we'll have rockets, we can fly around. We got, we got to tag some biomes and do sound of music and things like that. I want to get some um, advancements. And then we'll do piglin bartering. Piglin bartering, the only difficult part about that is luring a pig down. Once you lure the pigs down, it's easy. But we have a convenient stairwell that gets us all the way down to the gold farm. Oh, imagine that. Almost like I was planning for it. Oh, look at me. I'm so smart. <laughs> but no, we just got to lure some piglins into a hole. And then feed them gold ingots. <clears throat> but that's probably going to be, I would say, April when we start that. Because this is probably going to take us another four or five days just to cut this thing down. Then we got to build the farm on top of it. Then we're going to do some advancements. Yeah, code. I don't know. I don't know who's I'm going to go with yet, but there's one. I think Geek Boy made it where it's like a, a little area that you stack a bunch of piglins into and then you just feed them gold. Is this going to be a farm with portals? No. Nope. <clears throat> It's just going to be a standard kind of darkroom spawner kind of thing. Yeah, cod. I think I'm going to use that one. Because we already have a um, an item filtering system. We can just take the one that has the ingots and feed it down into there and just have it automatically feed to the piglins. And then we don't have to do any middle work between there and there. We'll have a chest in the middle that I can load ingots into from making them from nuggets. And that'll just go down, feed in, and, and keep the pigs going. And then they'll have their own sorting underneath that. And then we'll have, you know, gravel and blackstone and string and pearls and Obsidian, crying obsidian, arrow, spectral arrows, and then the junk box will catch all of the um, the books and the enchanted boots and the potions, the fire res potions, things that don't stack to sixty four. We can't sort very easily. They they can be sorted, but the sorting systems are so convoluted. It's not worth it. Do we take out that entire cave part? No, it's still there. We'll get that gravel out too before we hop out of here.
All right, real quick, there's food at the door. I'm gonna go grab the food. I shall return. Fight amongst yourselves while you're here in chat. I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab some soda too while I'm up. You don't have to type that command to get in. All you gotta do is type in chat. That command's for me to turn it off and on. You just gotta type in chat. Anything? Anything. Need a nap? Get you a nap, simply. See? And you're joining to the melee. Make sure they sent me everything first. Let's see, we got... Biscuits. We got sausage biscuits. Cool. All right. Perfect. Yeah, Snook. Never fun. All right, we're good. Got to see your mom and dad today. Cool. That is a plus side. All right, let's continue on. How do the controls work? You don't really control anything. Who cares? It just kind of goes. I'm going to I'm going to be I'm going to I'm going to level with you. It only exists to encourage chat cooper or uh, participation. That's all it's the only reason why it exists. Hi Jonah, what's up buddy? How are you today? Okay. Thank you all for participating. So I have that command attached to OBS remote where you can control OBS remotely. Um, via the bot commands. So I have to input a command for the bot to output a command to OBS to turn off and on a source. Same reason why when you make me disappear, a bot comes in and types exclamation point cam. It's the same thing. It uses OBS remote to turn off my camera source. Jonah, how are you today, bud? How are things in your world today? How's New York? Simply me, everyone has to do it. No one is an exception. Look at all the caves. <coughs> I'm letting my food get cold. Yeah, I don't. I, I try not to eat while streaming, Snook. And when I'm doing something like this that requires me to use two hands, I can't really just stop and start eating. That's kind of rude. So it usually just sits there for a few hours before I get a chance to eat it. The only difference between ordering it now and eating it later versus ordering it later is that the place is going to be closed later. So it's good just to get it out of the way. What'd you get? I got Bojangles. Let's watch a video or something. No, I'm good, dude. I'm good. I'll be fine. It's a lot right now. Anything I can do to help, Jonah? Pop a top. Hi, Vientos. How are you, bud? That was a root beer, my friend. Just trying to vibe, and they out here trying to do shit on a Saturday. Oh, no. 
Well, that's no fun. Vientos, I'm doing fantastic, my friend. It's good to see you in here. Thanks for coming by. So for anybody who doesn't know, these caves, we're going to keep these caves here. We're going to change the lighting system to a different kind of light. And then we're going to put glass here to kind of still show the cave. That way you can see it while you're down here. It's going to be really fun when we're finished with it all. You want a root beer? Here you go. I got an extra. It's a zero sugar A&W. <clears throat> zero calorie root beer. Did I get everything lit up? Everything that I could find, yeah. Am I going to make a red light district? No. Nope, not in the slightest. But like this cave right here, that part's going to have glass in front of it. This right there, I put glass around that. That's water. There was a water cavern here once upon a time. That's going to have glass walls there. I marked the top and the bottom. That way I could do it later with glass. So that's going to be glass. We're going to be able to see all the caves that intersected into here once upon a time. In between all the copper. Hi, Sub-Zero. How are you, bud? Oh, look at that. Insta mine. Beautiful. That's a lot of tough. Usually this much tough is indicative of a of a of a um a vein. How am I? Fantastic dude. Any day I get to streams always a good one. Tough's not so tough. I don't understand why it exists. It seems like a very useless block in Minecraft. <laughs> Like, it's ugly. It doesn't have any visual appeal. Um, you know, it's just it's just kind of like there. All right, we're full. Let's go get our inventory emptied. It's just odd. Different texture, but it's like, I don't know. I feel like mossy cobblestone would do a better job at whatever look they're trying to go for. Tough is just ugly. All right, there should be a shulker over here now. Hey, it's a shulker chat. <laughs> Let's put that shulker right here, and let's pretend like we're breaking these for the first time. Are you ready, kids? One, two, three. We're gonna go into here, and we're gonna go one, two, three. Perfect. Then we'll put you back, and we'll go one, two, three. They'll start sorting up through that tube. Then we'll get all this taken care of. And there's the there's the sound change. All right, back down we go. <laughs> Tough, it's okay. He didn't mean it. I meant every bit of it. Do I know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! Did I get my shulker back? Yeah, I just got it back. It was in the junk box. What what happened was a lot of deep slate got queued up in front of it. So when it was at the sorter, it had to wait for like 40 pieces or 50 pieces of deep slate to go by before it got passed through the sorting system. But yeah, we got it back. Is it Shirley Lane? I thought it was Drury, Dreary Lane. I'm not jumping down anymore. No, I didn't because you're freaking out over nothing. Drury Lane, yeah. Shirley's from Airplane. 
Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. Don't call me Shirley. Or Shirley must be joking, yeah. <laughs> Couldn't remember the exact vernacular. I made you, you made yourself want to watch Shrek? Go for it. Not the gumdrop buttons. It's gonna get some coffee, but you're out of creamer. I won't drink it black. Pour some milk in there. Get some condensed milk. Time for leftover pizza? Go for it, racing kid. Enjoy your pizza, my friend. Come here, Rochelle, how are you doing today? <laughs> Racing kid. I see a red door. I must have it painted black. I first found out about that song playing Twisted Metal Black. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Twisted Metal Black was some... Those storylines in that game were twisted, obviously. But it gave the song like a whole new meaning with that with that game. <clears throat> Wikipedia, they don't have any games like that now. There's no like arena vehicle grab a power up and shoot people games. Just like how there's no games like Star Fox. I would love a third person flying adventure dog fighting game like that. How we got back? You're making dinner right now. Cool. Snook, if, if they made another game like Star Fox right now, I, I would play the hell out of it. <laughs> Who cares wins? <laughs> Dude, Snook, Star Fox was, was a whole other thing, man. Thanks, Fox. I thought they had me. <laughs> Your father squealed real good before he died. Yeah, Snook. Or the one where you were underwater and Slippy wouldn't shut up. It's like, yeah, we get it. You made a tank. Or you made an underwater sub thing. Shut up about it. Steel Sharkin? I don't even know what that is. Slippy was the worst. Slippy the, t the the frog, then what was, what was his name? Pepe the, the rabbit? The hare? And then you had uh, Falcon, who was a falcon. <laughs> Pepe, that's what it was. Pepe. You did not have a pew pew, but a staff. Oh yeah, that... No, we're talking, we're talking like, we're talking like flying a ship still, Sharkin. Star Fox 64 was, was an amazing game for its time. And there were, there were different, there were different lines you could take based off of whether you did the mission well or not. And there was a good ending, a neutral ending, and a bad ending. Snook, I only ever did two-player because four-player, we had small TVs growing up. 
You only had like 19-inch TVs and four player didn't look great. We did do four player GoldenEye, no odd job. Proximity mines only. <laughs> no odd job. The guy was too short, you couldn't see him. Is there a rough above you? No, this is the overworld. Snook, it, it, it's because we're looking at it with rose-colored glasses, you know? Like, when I first played pole position for the Atari when I was a kid, it felt like real F1 racing. But when you look back at pole position now, you're like, that was a garbage game. You, you look at F1 2022 and you're like, wow, this is crazy. I played Perfect Dark with the alien gun. They can shoot through walls. Perfect Dark was just a reskin of 007, in my opinion, of, of James Bond, the James Bond game. It's made by Rare, same company. That's awesome, Jaws, too. Yeah, no, Jonah, we're not going to roof this. It's, uh, it's going to be good to go. And it should be just like this. <coughs> yeah, Perfect Dark had four four player versus just like Goldeneye did. And they had that one sniper rifle. That one alien sniper rifle was insane. This is the same hole you've been working on for a while. Uh, I think the one you're thinking of is the gold farm. Have you not seen that finished? <laughs> 